Happy Virgo. Welcome to your singles, doubles, and situations reading. For those of you that are new, I am an intuitive, which means that when I'm channeling through the cars, kind of like scrying in water, what I see may not be the traditional meaning. So just take what resonates for you and leave the rest behind. For those of you returning, thank you. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe because that is how I will be um, really going through and deciding the order of the forecasts. All right. Um, just because it's a gift to spirit, it's a gift to the channel. It helps others find the messages. And so that's what spirit is having me do this year. If you would like a personal reading, that link is down below. You can also find ways to figure out the decks that I've created, the decks that I use, uh, donations, um, everything's down below. You can also find me at mindsetunicorn.me. I'm on IG, Facebook, at Mindset Unicorn. Okay, for those returning, again, thank you. You're why I keep coming back, all right? So, collective. You are having like a real, like beginning of a rebirth, I feel like here, with the spring and the yellow chakra. But it's almost as if you're trying to control this rebirth, right? And so it's kind of funny because all mothers, right? Like, are like, oh, and you could, this could be for a masculine too, but I'm just giving you an example or like, oh, and I'm going to eat this way and do that and do this. And then baby has different ideas. <laughs> okay. You can't control a birthing process, right? You are going through a, a big change. Okay. It even could feel almost like a timeline uh, merging together. You might be having deja vu. Okay. Um, be playful because the spirit's like, cause you're about to lose your mind. Okay. Uh, you may feel like you're being pulled between these two worlds, between these two timelines and spirit is just saying, right, you can't control this process. So just right, be playful and enjoy it. All right, let's see what is going on. I'm going to pull out an overview. Thank you, Spirit. And then we're going to get singles, doubles, thank you, and situations. Thank you. Underlying all of this is conflict, emotional conflict that you are going through and you're riding out the storm, right? But there is an island ahead, okay? So let's see what else Spirit wants to share. Overview energy is this is a new beginning. Your intuition tells you that this is what you have manifested. Okay, this is new world coming into being. You know that. You feel it. This is your path forward. But some of you might be a little terrified, right? <laughs> Creating something and birthing it. Scary as shit. All right. But it is meant for you. Okay. For our singles, it may mean that you are going to have to pick up, pack up move forward in a way that's going to take some st strategic planning and action here. Okay. But it is again, divine timing for this. If you're not actually moving, right, we've got traveling and here's the travel card. It could just be, again, it's talking about you're closing the door on things. You're moving into a new energy. Okay. So, ooh. yeah, okay, you're going to be feeling like fighting this because for some of you, for some reason, okay, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. Okay, for some of you, it feels like a kick in the stomach, but this is a gift, okay? This is the gift your heart has been waiting for. Uh, you're just a little bit 
uncertain, I feel like, of it. Thank you. Yeah, because you're coming out of heartbreak. Now, this heartbreak could have been a long time ago that you have held on to this piece for a very long time. And, right, the serpent is coming in. This is the energy of the south. Okay, that serpent energy, the draconian codes that I delivered a few months ago. You can go back into the community page and look through that. Um, right, this is really getting over that old crushed energy, right? Shedding your skin, releasing your heart from that locked space. I feel like for some of you, it could have been third party in the past. And this is a new beginning, right? Yeah, look, there's betrayal. You know it's time for you to move on from this. There's just this little bit of this stupid shadow energy kind of following you. Um, but again, look, this is what you've manifested. You're coming into your power. You just have to ride out the storm, right? So tell me what makes you feel like you've gotten kicked in the gut. All right. You could have conversation coming in from the past. For some of you, that person is moving on. I saw this almost immediately thought of Four of Wands. For some of you, this person might be saying, I'm getting remarried. Okay, I'm dating again. I just wanted to let you know, you, you know, may hear from family, you may show up in an event, and there's this person with their date. Okay, the gift in this, okay, Queen of Swords in reverse, is that you get to clear out that old, stagnant, emotional energy that you've been carrying around up here. Okay, you get to move on. And there's the King of Swords in reverse, right? And that person is stuck reflecting, right? I feel like uh, time will tell, right? You always let the best ones get away. Getting over this heartbreak. Yeah, okay, this is part of your journey to leave behind the old and to open up to new emotions. Look, there's the swan heading into this Ace of Cups, this brand new emotion. And look over there, there's the emperor. Okay, very much empress and emperor's energy that will come together on the other side of this dark night. Okay, know that this is your path forward. I will be back in a minute with more messages. All right. For our couples, okay, family. For some of you, I feel like you really feel like your family is not complete. You feel like there is another soul waiting for you. For others, there has been a lost soul in your life and that inner childhood wound is still impacting some of this path that you have with your person. Okay, completion. Whatever this is, I feel like you are at this point of being ready to be done, right? The world card. Like I'm ready, if we're not going down the same path, I'm ready to complete this, right? Yeah. You're ready for a renewal and a new direction, okay? To let go, to heal yourself, to move this cycle forward, to take a leap of faith. It's like you don't want to waste any more time. Okay, again, on the bottom here, 
We've got this five of wands, this lessons. Some of this is old obstacles. Okay. Um, it could be that, right, somebody's holding on to old fears from the past, which is why they don't want to move things forward. They are trying to heal things. They're not talking about it to you. Spirit's saying, be aware if you're going to be impulsive about all of this, okay? Don't impulsively make a leap until you've actually had the whole conversation, okay? Because the completion here, all right, 10 of arrows here. There's a lot of hurt here because I feel like you thought we were both moving towards the same direction. Okay, what you want out of a renewal here, there we've got the Empress, okay, and the Sun, right? Again, I feel like you want this path forward, this healing, okay? I feel like you're frustrated that this person doesn't seem to get what you're after. Five of Arrows, Six of Pentacles. Question if this is just your escape hatch. Okay. Because underneath we've got the Six of Arrows, right? The transition to the Emperor. Question if this is your escape hatch. Are you using this as an excuse? Okay, Five of Wands again to get out of that Four of Wands, right? And go after a new beginning. It could very likely be that you, you just, you know it's over. You're just looking for a way out, okay? For our situations here, you feel like you are missing parts of yourself because you are in the middle of this emotional storm here. Fragmented energy. Okay, I feel like somebody has taken little pieces of you. The one. Okay. There's the seer, right? Again, I feel like you saw something in someone that awakened your drive to heal your inner child. And that is what you are working on here. But it's created chaos within. Thank you. Yeah, and there is definitely, um, I feel like there's mirrored energy here. There's an inner truth, a hidden truth, okay, from this emperor. Right? This emperor dealing with the inner child. Now we've got the seer and this emperor both dealing with their inner child. And here we've got, right, like they're showing me this as the two shadows, kind of like dancing here in the one. Hidden emotions, hidden truths here, lots of healing going on. All right. Tell me about the one. Thank you. Yeah, there's a lot of spying, curious energy Okay, Knight of Wands, somebody wants to be a little more impulsive and, and just come forward. Okay, inner childhood wounds here. Yeah, Page of Wands, okay. Someone's really scared, but really wanting to take this risk. Again, there's the spying energy here, okay. Nine of Wands, um... Someone thinks that they're doing this, or at least they're telling themselves, I'm doing this out of respect for you. Okay. 
Knight of Cups crossed by the Shaman. Okay, this was manifested healing. And this really is at that point where you've met someone. It was an electric spark. Okay, and now as this healing is taking place, someone is trying to manifest this return. Yeah, Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups, right? This is all my happiness. How do I get this back? But <laughs> wild horse, right? Somebody's stuck here in this traditional energy trying to move through the shedding of this and feeling alone in their emotions, okay? Grieving for this. So singles, okay? What does this past energy want to say to you? Thank you. I don't know what to do right now. You cut me deeper than anyone can, right? They don't know how to take their accountability for anything that they've done. Um, and again, they might be saying, you know, as soon as they see you, well, yeah, I'm with someone else, but I still love you, right? All right. What about this new energy coming forward? Haha, <laughs> you can't stop me from leaving. This is not someone you can control. You simply are the best thing that's ever happened to me. Okay, it's going to be, I feel like, a little bit of a whirlwind underneath. Lately, I've been thinking about you. This person is manifesting this in. If you have not met them, they're manifesting this in. But I feel like it's going to be a lot of push and pull in the beginning. Possibly because you are also still healing. Okay? And you might be attracting someone in that same energy. Doesn't mean that it won't grow together. But. Okay, for our doubles, what does your person want to say to you? <laughs> the mirroring is just too much, right? These lessons are hard. I'm afraid we will not work out. Okay. What about the new energy? Okay. That you're thinking about. I try to keep an open mind. I feel like this is going to be, if you meet someone, it's going to be someone very different than what you would traditionally go for. Whenever we are apart, I am feeling this emptiness. It's going to be something where if you meet someone, it will just feel like home. And again, right, the emperor and the empress. It will just be a match. Um, but there's going to be, right, there's a lot of steps that have to be happening here. And you can't just leap into that because you're still in the middle of something. So... There is going to be some emptiness to be felt in this. All right. For the situations, okay. If you would just tell me your truth. What did I say? Inner truth. Somebody is hiding things here. Right? Like, I'm not going to tell you that I love you because you haven't told me that you love me. And I don't know what. Mind games. Okay. Insecurities. But let me be your last dance, okay? This person, right? They want this. I can do anything when you are by my side. You, you've come into this person's life. When you're standing next to them, they feel strong. They feel solid, okay? They want this to be something that they can have a breakthrough with. But I feel like they've got a lot of healing that they have to do. And you do as well to get there. 
Let's go ahead and get some advice here, Virgo. Okay, advice going forward for Virgo. Yeah, go inward. <laughs> go inward. There you are, the hermit. Okay, Virgo, go inward. All right, find that zen. Okay, you're really being guided to, you know, heal yourself here. Because there's a very defensive, Queen of Swords, there's a very defensive energy within you. And, um, right, Five of Pentacles, a little obsessive, watching, right, uh, stalking. Of course, roles can be reversed, but it does feel like this is you. Okay, maybe getting texts in the middle of the night trying to decipher what they really were trying to say between the lines. Okay, the High Priestess. Two of Cups. Again, I feel like whoever it is that you're dealing with, there is going to be a difference here than what you would normally go for. And For some of you, this is just the soulmate you have been seeking. Okay. Again, a lot of sensuality, a lot of sparks, a lot of wishes being ticked off by this person, a lot of chemistry. It is divine time. Okay. Be aware that someone here, right, could be really focused on getting their stability right before they feel like they can open up here. King of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune. Just listen for not just the words, but for the actions. Because a lot of times the actions do speak louder than words. And what someone is doing for you often will tell you what they are feeling for you. Okay, let's see what the universe wants to add. Okay, Knight of Cups, right? If you've been out of communication here on the Five of Pentacles with this person, expect some sort of incoming message. Okay, I feel like they may have written and released and written and released many times. Whatever comes in, right, the sun, it's going to make you very happy. It's also going to be very intense. It may, um, it may not be what you expect, but again, I do feel like, right, that 10 of pentacles, you're getting yourself stable. But again, I do feel like there is conflict in here, right? We saw conflict in here where you're torn between two, two timelines here, two worlds. And a lot of inner child healing going on. Thank you. But yeah, just keep moving forward the chariot, and there's that king of swords, okay? The knowledge is coming, right? But you've got to climb the mountain. Again, there's divine timing. New love. Page of cups. I feel like everything's about to, we started out with the one, everything's about to move into the new cycle. A lot of like the 10 here, right? A lot of completions are coming. The breakthrough is coming, but it's just on the edge right now, okay? And that's that inner child healing. Let's close it off with an oracle, okay? Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe before you jump away from this. <laughs> Lemuria, I love that. Creating heaven on earth, it is happening. And the inner temple, right? Um, devotion. Tune into the portal of your heart. You really are being guided to 
right? Get serious, especially with this full moon, about releasing the old, coming into your heart about what you want, who you are, where you're going. There's so much coming in. I feel like 222 22 is going to be big for you. As far as you're going to get a lot of synchronicities about the path. Right? Again, they're showing me Lemuria. Three with the U and then three. Okay? You. Your path forward. And then look at that. Three. There's the portal and three. Okay? You and someone else, I really feel like, are both heading towards this portal. Right? This union energy in the middle of it. So just keep working on yourself. Just keep <laughs> moving forward. They were saying in my head, it was like gypsy, right? Like you're a gypsy. Okay. If you feel like traveling, right? Get it out of your system now. Do the fun. Have the fun. Um, because I feel like something serious is coming. All right. So I hope this helps you. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of the week. I will be doing the forecasts for the next two weeks and I hope to see you there. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.